He happened to be the man God has used to restructure, to reform, to rejig Hennessy Duffy from where it was to where it ought to be. I call him a catalyst of positive change and pillar of strength to the national security. Your Excellency, you're not just sitting down with a security expert, but with an intellectual, just some few days ago, he just launched 12 books on security. So we give kudos to him. And who am I talking about? I'm talking about the top. Substantive Commanding General, Dr. Hakmed Abubakar Haudi, MNR UFR. <laughs> My whole name is Babu Ali Zaida Falabi. I'm the National PRO, Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps. At this juncture, I will have to pass the mic to the DG Press Affairs to do the proper introduction. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to all of us. Let me start by thanking God Almighty for giving us this wonderful opportunity to come to the protest of the Civil Defense Corps and uh, to appreciate you as well for accepting to see us almost at an immediate prompting. And uh, the purpose of our coming are so many, but let me summarize 
to say that we recognize the efforts you are making, especially in these hard times, you know, towards securing lives and property of the Nigerian The Civil Defense Corps has really changed for the better, and we are seeing that under your dynamic leadership. So, welcome and thank you for the efforts you have been making. And in particular, with regards to Bombay State. Bombay State, for those that don't know, shares boundary with all the other And has a territory of total uh, of about 20,000 square kilometers, with about 3.5 million. On creation 27 years ago, we were only about 1.5. But today, well, 3.5 or above. That shows the extent to which the state is growing and the need for it to provide all the social amenities, especially security and food, which are very essential for human life. That centrality of government, sharing border with all the states, makes it very vulnerable not to end it up being a help for those that are displaced in terms of uh, any other social vices because people find it easy to cross over to come to Gombe and find some safe haven. So in order to ensure security and safety of lives and property, the state government is overbought just like in all other social amenities, be it health, education and social welfare. And we are a poor state virtually second to the last of the Federation account here. But that notwithstanding, we've been making our effort and I believe the results are showing not only to the people of Europe, but I believe nationwide. That forms one of the basic problems that we are faced with, despite the challenges, the global challenges and the national challenges that we have. Those of them became very unique because of that centrality. And that puts stress to virtually all our human resources and social services. Number two, the North East South region, you know that that's why we are domiciled, so naturally it has to. Whatever happens in other states happens in our own. And like I said, it ends up here. But as a chairman, of the Nigeria, uh, Northern Nigeria Governors Forum. I got some more exposure and knowledge of the inner place of the securities of virtually the whole of the world because somehow we had some interview. Basically, our people are farmers. Almost 75, 80% of them are farmers, peasant farmers for that matter, that rely on agricultural and livestock production. And over the years, due to neglect by the leadership, I must admit, no, the cattle rules have been abandoned or vandalized and taken over by people. So also grazing reserves, forest, uh, forest reserves, and even uh, game reserves. And in the course of, you know, doing their own business and sustaining their livelihoods, the cattle rearers end up having crashed because whether we like it or not, neglect has brought farmers to even encroach on the right of way on the highways. And these people have to go. Unfortunately, for me, I feel in these days going all along hundreds of kilometers in order to find a green pasture by people that are pastoralists is criminal. We have advanced. Nigeria is 63 today. And besides, the world has advanced. We must learn to invite and copy best practices from the other world, the developed world. That is when, when we do that, that is the only time that we will be able to catch up with the developed world and have sanctuary and ensure survival and prosperity within our peoples. But gradually, those tendencies that I mentioned you know, led to farmer harder clash, and above that, 
end up in your mouth, uh, resulting into budgetary and gender for us. Basically, it's just an important. And now it has reached a level by which even a state like Bombay, that we always say is safe and secure, relatively has its own issues, several issues, Madam might have told. So this is basically how we are living and we need to address those issues. Luckily for us, you are here and you have been up and doing and you have, in fact, uh, with the development of recent, uh, you have adjusted to the realities, the stark realities that is facing us. Meaning, ensuring that we provide security. Without security of life and property, there will be no security, food security, for example, which is very key. Not be there. As of today, in some places, even in Gombe, farmers cannot go to farm or crop or harvest their products during the harvest period. And Madame knows again that since three years back, we always put a law that uh, you can't go as for well October. No movement for cattle are allowed. End of October, November, December, January. So as to allow our farmers to harvest this food and not to allow this issue to manage or degenerate to reach a level that we cannot manage it. Unfortunately, you know, because of the human tendencies, enforcing that law doesn't go easy. And to that extent, we come specially to demand that you support us with agro renters. Add more to what we have. Because at the state level, we have but the state security, traffic, and environment for. But that is not enough. We need to join hands. And that is why we said especially we we'll come and seek for that support. So that we we'll see that this season, the harvest season, which has already started, but I believe by the end of October, will be deep in the harvest and movement of cattle this time around, especially with the exacerbated situation of insecurity in the northwest and the further end of the northeast uh, it will not come to compound our issues that is why specifically we are requesting for such a school thirdly and most importantly managing schools especially against banditry is becoming an issue it's a typical issue the recent one at Zampara State and Sopoto and Kenya. There are so many vulnerable points, but let me take you back that by 2014, majority of the schools, especially the girls' schools in the northern part of Bombay, had to close because of threats from Boko Haram. So as of today, there is only one boarding girls' school in the whole of Bombay North, and that is a federal school. That's five local governments. Little wonder then that we have abundance of out of school children. You go in the morning, you can pick as many as 1,000 years to take to the bush for harvest or planting in the other farms. Or you don't find any in school. It's a very sad situation. So the little we have, if we don't take care, that bad one that we had before will catch up and destroy the little that we have at the moment. Both the central and the southern part of the So that is an issue. So I want you to see to supporting us, you know, by providing security in schools. We are ready to join us with you. We will support you. I will do the needful in order to ensure that our schools are secure. That again, I will leave my sister discuss more with you because she knows the ins and outs of and the inner place and the dynamics that are at play in both. Last but not the least, I'd like to uh, ask that when we meet at the Northeast Governors Forum and eventually at the Northern Natural Governors Forum, because for me, I feel in these days, once you are able to address these issues, maybe you would have solved three quarters of Nigeria's problems at the moment. The North, first in land size, heavy in population, 
It's unfortunately afflicted with this issue that really has to be addressed. If we don't address this issue, everything else will collapse. And I'm sorry to say that once that happens, we pray that it doesn't happen. We lose control of this country. Before, when you hear of banditry or armed robbery or even kidnap for also, you will expect that by the time you maybe cross the Niger or Benue, coming from the south, you are safe. You sign some relief. But today, the reverse is the case. The reverse is the case. I think we need to find some strategy. We must change strategy that is different from what we used to have before. Because bad times demand that you change strategy in order to achieve better results. We are in really bad times, in so many phases and so many faults, and we are very, very senior stakeholders. I mean NSDC. NSCDC is a senior stakeholder with regards to this issue of security, and I feel it's important that we alert you. I believe you know, but for you to know that the governors are thinking along that line, it means that you have partners that are allowing you and achieve what you want. So I'll seek for your approval that when we meet, I'll, I'll give you notice and I'll invite you to come and address us so that you can give some strategy as to how to manage the issues as they are managed day by day. I wish to thank you very much for giving us this audience and I pray that uh, you will join with us as partners in progress to provide, to provide the needed security for our people, both in my state and in other states, and the wider Nigeria at large, because everything revolves around one thing. We are one people who must provide the security that we need in order to for economic prosperity to spread to all the people of this country. And I want to thank you very much for the efforts you have been making uh, transforming the NSC directive to this level. Pray the God Almighty give you the chance to stay into greater heights as we go forward. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you. Uh, DFA, Legal uh, Director of Legal Services, other officials here present. First, I'd like to, sir, congratulate you. Uh, uh, for your uh, uh, re-election as the governor of uh, Gobe State. So, sir, uh, 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 we have listened to you and uh, you have spoken so very, very well, sir. And uh, uh, we have heard what you said. So, if, uh, if I am to respond, maybe I will respond this way. And let me say that you, are, you have come to the right place. Uh, you have what you have spoken, what you have said, gladdens uh, you know our heart here, uh, because just last week we attended a meeting about or, on how to uh, uh, how to come up with a robust uh, program that will provide safety and security for our schools in the country. And uh, in your submission, you mentioned. Uh, how you want us to collaborate together to uh, give you some assistive measures on how to uh, provide safety and security for our schools. Uh, I, I was I was uh, I was in Bochi. I was zonal commander. I coordinated uh, northeast for two about two two years three months. We are Gwembe is we are part of the northeast, and we know your disposition. How, uh, because you, you rightly said it, you pointed it out that Gwembe actually borders uh, virtually all the states in the northeast, you know, and uh, uh, that that makes it actually in the center of uh, you know the heat of all the crises. But fortunately, uh, maybe you will tell us the formula that you have adopted that uh, so far we have seen Gombe has been living very peacefully despite that you are you are at a precarious level, uh, position because all uh, all the all the runaways from all the neighboring states 
that you border are actually uh, supposed to, uh, they come to settle in Gombe, you know. Uh, when you when they dislodge them from Borno, they will come and settle in Gombe. Dislodge them from Bochi or Plateau, they come and settle in Gombe. Those ones coming from Tarawa because of the hilly nature of the bordering, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the the bordering the hilly nature that borders you and Taraba, they also enter to come and settle in Gombe. You know, and so we consider Gombe to be a base. But uh, God has been with you so far that we have seen that despite all this uh, precarious position that you find yourself, uh, we are able to provide some security and safety for your people. I think that is a very big plus for you, sir. Um, I want to assure you, sir, we, we are going to give you uh, the required cooperation, you know, and collaboration, especially uh, we want to leverage from uh, that agency you created that uh, uh, provides security for the state, uh, the uh, safety agency and the environmental uh, body that you created. Uh, we would like to send experts from here uh, that are very good in intelligence to have some uh, training, you know, uh, so that we can collaborate with them and then send them to schools so that we can use them to give us information, you know, uh, to provide security for schools. Um, I know you are aware, but it is good for me to reiterate it. The civil defense is the lead agency in the area of protection of critical national assets and infrastructure. One, one, one of the things we do, you know, in trying to uh, protect this critical asset infrastructure is that we provide safety and security for uh, 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 agro-allied uh, companies and some and farms, we provide security for farms, provide security for farmland, for farmers, and we also, sir, over time, uh, mediate and settle disputes between farmers and headers. You know, uh, and I would like to tell you that it is on record that we have settled more than a thousand uh, cases nationwide, you know, in terms of settlement of clash between farmers and headers. And uh, uh, like you have rightly pointed out, Gwembe is actually a, a a, a, a farming peasant state. Uh, most uh, farmers there are peasants actually, and uh, uh, there is normally this clash, you know, that you cannot avoid between farmers and headers, you know. Uh, and so uh, we are going to uh, assist you in providing uh, our agro rangers unit, you know, that will that will provide safety and security for uh, the agro uh, industry and they also mediate and uh, settle cases between farmers and headers. Uh, your coming is at a good time that we are training our agro renders uh, squad. We train them quarterly and uh, we, after their training, we post them to states that actually require and then uh, uh, they go there to do their job. And so uh, we'd like to tell you that as soon as this batch finish their training, we will liaise with the commandant of the state and then uh, send you some uh, or officials or personnel uh, as agro rangers uh, personnel who are highly trained on how to uh, mediate between farmers and headers. And so we promise you this and we will do it. Because uh, we have seen that you have proven to us that you are somebody who is championing the cause of providing security and safety for your people. And uh, civil defense, as you know from our name, we, are, we deal with uh, we deal our activities with civility. And so we promote and adopt a mostly non kinetic strategy. Because we have realized that it's not every uh, a situation that you can apply kinetic strategy. So non-kinetic strategy, we have seen that really has given a lot of results you know, in, in solving problems, especially uh, the one that has to do with farmers and headers uh, clash. And so we will, we will do that, and we will, uh, the commandant is here, or not the commandant is here, and he's hearing me. So we will uh, further engage him in the discussion 
so that we can have uh, uh, the details in terms of the spread, the schematic spread of where those clashes uh, usually occur, so that we can uh, uh, look at it and, and, and take decision. We we'll also also discuss like you, uh, you like you directed. So uh, in a whole, I'd like to tell you, sir, uh, we're so glad that you are here and that all what you have asked for, uh, our doors uh, are widely open and let me say that it has been granted. It has been granted. Yes. So we are, uh, we are happy that you are here today and that you have come not only to visit us, but to bless us so that uh, one day on a later mood when we grow up, we'll be like you. We'll be like you when we grow up. <laughs> so with this, uh, I know you have a lot of uh, uh, schedules, function to attend. I'm a very busy person as a governor, so I wouldn't take uh, much of your time. Uh, let me thank you very most profoundly for your visit to headquarters of uh, Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps. And as you go back, uh, I wish you uh, uh, Johnny Messi back to your destination. God bless Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps. God bless Gombe State and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you, sir.